So let's go. SQL contains three main parts. So this SQL query language or structured query language contains three main parts. Please take note of them because this is where we are going to do the practicals. We are going to write the SQL code and a whole lot of your databases. Now, the first part of this SQL is data definition language. Data definition language. What do I mean by data definition language? In what this helps you define databases and its objectives. So you are building a database. What actually are you building it for? What's the purpose? What, what do you want to include in this database? So the data definition language aspect of the SQL helps you to actually know your day, define your database and its objectives. So when you start building your databases, you know, okay, I'm building a database for a school. Now, the school, what do I need in my database? Now, I need the student's name, okay, their date of birth, the, 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 the classes they are. Here, you know what you are going to put in the database. Now, after know, so what is the sole purpose of this database? Right, okay, so I'm building my student database to actually manage or know the number of students I have, know their behavior patterns, know the age, average age, and all these things. So the data definition language aspect of the SQL language helps you to know your objectives and define your database. Please take note of this. You'll be applying it. The second one you are supposed to know is data manipulation language. This contains the statement that allow you to update and query the data. Right, after building your data, so I build a student database. In the student database, I've defined whatever I have. So whatever I want to put inside. So I want students, their name, their classes, where they stay, their address. I build the database. Now I know the purpose in my definition. The data manipulation language. So here is where we are going to apply the SQL codes. So insert this, update this, join this, delete this. So the code, what we are going to write to actually manipulate our data is called the data manipulation language part of the SQL. It will help us to update, update meaning it will help us to add people to that database it will help us to actually update. Update means to, um, let's say, um, 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 Billy is a small boy or at the age of 14. We realize Billy is 15 years. So we will use this data manipulation language to go into our database and edit that portion of the 14 to 15 years. The query data also means now, in our database, we want to find out the number of students who are above the age 15. You will go to our database, for example, in an SQL code, you write select star everybody in this, in this particular database, age 15. So you see all those falling under the age 15 will pop up, their name and everything. So that is the query language. So the update and the query, they all fall part of the category data manipulation language of the escrow part. Now, data control language. So right now I've said to data definition language, that's where it will help you know your objectives of the database you are coming to build, define it. Now the second one is data manipulation language. This helps you to actually write your codes to get data or insert data into your database. The next thing is data control language. This allows you to grant permission to a user to access specific data in the database. Note, every database you are building is very sensitive to you. 
the information you are taking so let's say you have an app or you have um, a system a website where people have to sign up or register before they use your service know that the data you are collecting belongs to them is their data when you play with it data privacy all those that you can be sued and all those things so when you build your database you have the authority to grant whom you want to have access to that database and whom you don't want to have access to that database this can be done using the data control language but it allows you to grant permissions to user to access specific data in the data base please any question note the database we are going to build you use these three parts of the mysql language one data definition language two data manipulation language three data control language now the data definition language allows you or include the statement that allows you to define the database and its objectives two the data manipulation language contains the statement that allows you to update and query or make requests to your database three the data control language allows you to grant the permissions to a user you want to have access to your data base please any question now what we are going to do in our next in our next session here is i'm going to teach you or i'm going to give you a link so i'll share the link with you you share with your colleagues in your those who are not able to join the live channel visit your slack channel there is a link there follow the link and download the software we are going to use for the practicals to build our database to write our codes and everything so i'll share the link with you you can also share in your whatsapp groups please so i'll share the link with you in your slack channel share it in your whatsapp groups now follow the link and go and download the software it's my sql software we are going to use that software to build databases, write MySQL codes, to actually retrieve data, build databases, make queries, updates, and a whole lot. In fact, it's a very interesting um, language you are going, and it's very simple. This is very simple. It's, it's, it's example, you just say select, star from this table, then you just pull the data for you. It's fun. Don't be scared. You are going to actually enjoy the, 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 the programming aspect of this. In our next meeting, we are going to start programming. So I will encourage you and I give you the link. You do well to get and install everything you need to. I will also give you the process when installing it. Or if you can't, when we meet, make sure you have the program. I will guide you installing it. Then we start our coding okay now um, um so visit your slack channel i'm sending you i'm sending you a link in your slack channel kindly follow it okay so um
right so i've sent you a link in your slack channel you follow that link then you will go and download the version i'm sending another thing take note there are two versions when you get there one is web that's always you need an internet one you don't need an internet i will encourage you to download one you don't need internet so you download the offline one so i'm sending you something so that you know which one to download so So I've sent it to you in your Slack DM. Now you get the software, you download it. They also provide installation guide at the page, but don't worry, you download it. In our next meeting, how if you if you couldn't install it i'll guide you in the with the installation is someone talking i'll guide you with the installation then we start our practicals now i'm going to also send you okay now i'm going to send you your your reading material where we are going to code from the book we are going to use your slide channel please download it to then go through and prepare for our next meeting you start coding in my, in my sql language then i'll take you deeper in building data bases please any question so quickly let me send you the reading materials reading material so you can also go to it contains help my escrow codes okay So it's loading. Um, download it to and you can start going through. In fact, there are a whole lot of codes inside. You can start going through, and if you are able to install, well, we can start practicing. But our practical session starts next week when we meet. You start installing and we start writing code to build our database. So reading material. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, any question please before the class ends. right if there are no questions thank you for joining today's session we'll meet again on our next meeting for the practicals oh okay someone is asking can you use your phone this one uh is going to be difficult to use a phone for database but i will try and see if i'll get um the the sql mobile um software for you so be checking your slack channel 
I'll be posting materials there too. So I'll check if I get the SQL for mobile phones too, I will give it to you because I believe not everyone will have a computer or a laptop. So I will do well to find a software for those who will be using phones to, to actually write some code. Right, you are welcome. Okay, we will meet on our next meeting. All the best.